Okay, so this is now a con continuation of my video series on being able to create a podcast site. So for school, you may be required to create a site like this where you can have um, some information about your podcast and then we've embedded our podcast here on the site so that it can be marked and so that other you can share it with other people. And as you can see down here, we've created some other content to go into our podcast site as well. So you may have some information about your podcast or a video, um, some other resources that are linked to your podcast information. Uh, so we've already created the actual audio file that we're going to use. Now what we have to look at doing is creating the actual site that's going to go with that. So in order to do that, let's first of all go to our Google Drive. We have to get the podcast from our computer and put it onto the internet. Now because we have uh, Google Drive accounts, if you open up your Google Drive and then what I like to do is create a folder here where we can put all of our material for our site. Uh, so let's just create a new folder. So here I am in my Google Drive, we just push the plus button, go, go a folder and create a folder for your with a lowercase o, for your material to go in. And we simply say create. Uh, then you can open up that folder. And then what we want to do is put our podcast mp3 file into that folder. Uh, so I saved mine on my desktop. So I'm simply going to right click and choose to upload files. Browse to my desktop, there's my mp3 file. So you make sure you get the right file. You don't want to upload the Audacity file. Remember that's the project file. You want to make sure you upload the MP3 file and simply upload that to that folder. Now any other material that you want to go on your site you would also put in this English podcast folder. What we're going to do is make this folder public um, so that anything that's in there is accessible from other people on the internet. Uh, so in order to do that uh, if you just push the share button, oh sorry, so I've used the little drop down on my folder and then I've gone to the share link and if you go to advanced then what you can do is see that at the moment this is private, only I can access. So what we're going to do is change that so that it's public on the web and that means that anyone would be able to see it. Actually, we're going to change it to on anyone with the link. Now, if you want to be a little bit more secure, then what you can do is just say on anyone at William Carey. So that would limit it just to people who are at our school. But uh, because I'm not putting anything in here that is private, uh, I'm going to say that anyone who has the link to these files is able to access them. And that way I can put my English podcast MP3 file up. Uh, any videos that I put up or any scans or photos or anything I put into this folder will become accessible through my website. Okay, so anyone with the link has access. And then I'm just going to simply say uh, save. And you'll notice as well that I've left that as view only. Okay, we don't want to change that to the fact that they can organize that or edit because then people will be able to change the folder. We want to make it so that anyone who has the link can view these files. And then say save. And so now anything I put into that folder is going to become public for the people who have access to this folder. Then we need to create a new Google site. Uh, so if we right click on this folder, go to more and choose a new Google site. And so there, this is now our editing for our page. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is give it a name that makes sense. Uh, now for your English task, I believe what they're going to get you to do is name it with your name and then something like podcast, I think it was going to be. So I'm just going to call mine Hall Podcast and you'll see that that then changes the name of the site. Then you can come up with your title. So my amazing podcast. Uh, I believe you'll come up with your own title depending on what you're actually doing. Uh, now we want to put our podcast file into this site. Uh, so what you can do then is you can embed your podcast. So embedding means that it's going to put a player into your site like you saw on my original um, site and that's going to allow people to play your podcast. Now we need to find out what the link is to our podcast. So come back here to the um, folder you created, right click on the podcast and choose get shareable link 
and that will then give you this link here which is the link directly to our podcast uh, then you come back to the podcast push the embed button and paste that URL directly into here you'll see it comes up with a little preview window now it can't preview the audio so it's just a rectangle and then say insert and then what it's going to do is put the podcast player into this little box resize that podcast player just by dragging the handles down a little bit like so and you've then got your podcast embedded into your site now you can move this player around so you can see that when I hover over it you can pick it up and move it you can drag it um, to the left or to the right depending on where you actually want it and then you can insert other content around that uh, so you can use the little insert tab over here on the right hand side and you can see you can insert a text box or insert images you can insert other objects directly from your drive uh, you can also use these layouts uh, so you would have seen on mine I had three different media sources and each one had a caption and header under it so if you wanted to use one of those layouts you simply pick that up drag it and drop it onto your site where you want it and you'll see that it's now got the template in place for you to be able to add that media so if you push the plus button on here you'll see you've got the option of um, selecting an image or selecting something from YouTube so let's select an image and I believe I said my podcast was about dogs so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the search tab and just simply search for dog if you want to pick a particular color style image so let's say we wanted brown images you'll see most of these are brown if you choose blue then you'll get blue style images so if you want to pick a color scheme color scheme then you can do that and then simply let's choose the image and put that in I believe that's a husky so what I'm going to do is put that image in there and then I'm going to edit the text underneath so it says husky and then you can put some text in underneath here as well which is a description so I've put a image and then a caption and then you can click and edit some extra text here this is a husky and so on and then you'd push plus on the next one uh, you can select something from your drive or select an image or you can find something from YouTube you can search for a YouTube video let's go cute dogs that one looks good select that image and that'll put that in and once again you can add a, um, a title and some text and so you can see then you've got a custom layout where you can put some text now if you want some text next to your uh, podcast then what you can do is simply double click over here and you'll see you get a little target circle and you simply choose what you want to put there so if I want to put some text there I simply click on some text this is some text and you can continue to type and lay your image out um, you can also come across to the theme so at the moment I'm using the default themes uh, so if you come across to the themes tab here then you can see you can change the color of your site and you can also change change the theme of your site so I was on the simple theme you could go to the Aristotle theme and then change the color of the Aristotle theme which will change uh, the layout of your site uh, once you're ready to go you then need to publish uh, if you push the publish button then it'll ask you where do you actually want your site to be published uh, so you can see at the moment it's going to be sites google.com WCCS New South Wales UAU whole podcast so choose an appropriate web address um, who can view your site anyone can view your site and then you can push the publish button and what that will do is actually take your design your site design and publish it so that other people can access it when you're ready to view if you use the little drop down over here you can say view the published site and what that will do is redirect you to your site and so you can see now that I've actually got my site here ready to go it's also a good idea if I cut that out so I've copied that URL you can see at the moment I'm logged in as my school account if you want to check that everybody else is able to access your site as well as you if you open a guest window and then paste your URL in this is a window where you're not logged into anything and so if you're able to access that through the guest window as well and play your podcast, Welcome to my first podcast. there we go 
so I can play my podcast, then that means you've got your sharing permissions correct. And that also means your teachers will be able to mark your work. Whereas if you haven't shared something correctly, then you might get a window here saying this web content is not available and then your teachers wouldn't be able to mark it correctly. So before you turn it in, uh, make sure that you actually check the content is available for your teachers to be able to mark so that they can also make sure your work's okay.